Are there with questions for Coach Ryan? Don't you think this case of getting off the slow start offensively and not having enough time to get all the way back? <laughs> well, yeah, it's always you can say, oh, what if it was a 45-minute game? And we can't make those up. A um, couple spurts early. We got in a hole. Uh, we're not exactly the kind of team that can really uh, make those kind of comebacks, and yet we made several of them withstand the barrage and then can't quite turn the corner in the first half. Second half, we finally turned the corner and, you know, hit some shots. Look at the percentages. It's still about doing some things that uh, discourages the other team. We, we certainly didn't do anything to discourage Iowa in the first 30 minutes. Well, did you like the shots you were getting early? Um, if you took the footage of how far Mike Bruzowitz, Sam Decker, and Zebo missed on those threes, it might be a record. Uh, no, and all three of them were wide open shots. Um, those are the ones that, does it hurt a guy's confidence? Is it, well, you know, old Sammy, he doesn't let a whole lot bother him. He came back and hit some later. But, uh, Probably would have been would have been nice for us to get Zebo off to a little better start than that. Second half he did. He came in. He didn't get down. He came in and gave us a three point play and uh, three point opportunity. And uh, you know had another chance around the basket. So with Frankie out, he got some minutes. He tried to make the most of them, but the shots. Uh, first five minutes I'd changed several, but after that. You mentioned you didn't do much to discourage Iowa in the first 30 minutes. Defensively, what, what was the key major issue in your mind? Well, I just thought we were not attacking angles and, and you know, trying to get Jared involved. I think Jared needed to impose his will a little bit more. Our seniors, um, those guys really struggled. Um, but it's not their fault. What I'm saying is what, if, if they're struggling, uh, sometimes other players take that lead can't do that. You have to have, if you're not getting it from one place, you got to get it from another. But, um, certainly wasn't clicking early. How encouraged were you by Georgia's performance, especially in the second Well, they were spread out. They were guarding our shooters. They, uh, they left some driving lines, and George is one of those guys that can attack those driving lines. So by him getting to the basket, that also means that when he comes down and he stares you down, and you play off him a little bit, he can pull up and hit the three. So, you know, that's um, – but a lot of teams haven't been playing him that way or playing in a way where he can get those driving lines. But tonight he did. So, and, and sometimes it's another player that gets something that the other team's given. What was your impression of Aaron White tonight? As it has been, he's a good player. Um, you know, he's, his free throw shooting uh, really kept him right there where he needed to be at the end. Um, but he didn't do anything that we haven't seen on tape before. Or, you know, he's a good player. Uh, we needed to do a better job of uh, containing him, uh, taking his angles away. Some nights you do, some nights you don't. He definitely didn't do that tonight. Coach, were you concerned coming off two wins of uh, highly rated teams that the team would be able to sustain the momentum and play with that you intensity? Know, you know what? If Iowa uh, it gets Indiana or Michigan State here, Iowa's as good as any team that we've played. I, I, where's all the talk about how good Iowa was earlier, and then all of a sudden we come in here after a win against Indiana, and it's like, well, I'm kind of looking at the two teams, and I'm thinking, wow. You know, I was pretty good. Uh, I, I don't think our guys got overly excited about the win in Indiana to the point where they didn't prepare. I just think uh, there's good teams in the Big Ten, and we played one of them tonight. How did this environment compare to some other environments you've played in this year? Same. 
Florida was nuts. We played in Florida, Marquette, Indiana. The, the crowd doesn't. That's not an effect for us. Uh, not the places we've been. If we were a team that hadn't been anywhere, there's some teams in non-conference don't play anybody anywhere away from home. We did, so I'd say Florida's pretty good. Their crowd was pretty fired up today. That's how they were when we were there. I didn't see them score a basket. There are no more unbeatens in the conference. Is this the best defense? Oh, rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> I knew somebody would have to say that. Uh, and you're not even taking notes. The recorder's open. Um, I, I forget. I, no Facebook, no Twitter. I don't I forget. Um, hang on to your hat. It's going to be this kind of a year. Somebody will get a win here. Does it? Oh, and then... Everybody kind of realizes every game's going to be a battle. You just can't lose perspective of that in this league. If you do, you're really in trouble. Oh, good. We play Michigan State next, they told me. So. <laughs> and then we play. And, it, and then who, I don't know who Iowa plays, but it's pretty good teams. Anything else?